We are in Seychelles. Seychelles and Paradise. Seychelles. We got in very late last night. We got actually at dawn. We got in around 2 a.m. And we've just been sleeping this morning. Like we've been sleeping since because we we're tired. So yeah, we're finally in Seychelles. And welcome to my Seychelles vlog. Yeah, so we just woke up. Um, it's about 11 a.m. here. Um, Seychelles is like four hours ahead of Ghana, so it's like 11 a.m. here. And today is Sunday. Apparently, there's not a lot to do in Seychelles on Sunday. Like, almost everything is closed. So today, I guess we're just going to be in the hotel to just chill and also um, to explore the place because it's a very, you know, huge property or it's a very huge resort. So we're just going to stay in the hotel to chill and explore and yeah i think i'll give you guys like a proper room tour later on and also yeah one thing from the videos that i watched here yeah, most of them said the immigration people over here like gave them a tough time sort of so i was expecting some delays here and there with immigration but it was a very smooth process when we got to immigration like i was so surprised because from what i had seen and read and all of that like it was a total different experience for us i think i'll do another video for you guys to know like the travel requirements and all of that but yeah it was a very smooth and seamless process for us um i did expect that but yeah it's all good so i will let you guys in on what we get up to later in the day we're just about to take our shower and all of that and just go explore so yeah we are in mahe island we landed in mahe island that's where their international airport is and that's where the capital city is located um victoria so we'll go to victoria we'll probably go to victoria 
on this trip before we leave and the truth is we're supposed to be in seychelles like four or five days ago but due to some reasons we had to cut our trip short so right now we have just four days here we'll try and make the best out of it so the initial plan was to spend a couple of days in mahe like if we had come four or five days ago it was to spend a couple of days in mahe then we would move to ladig to spend some couple of days there as well before we leave but then now that we're left with just four days the plan is to try and do like a return trip to ladig so let's see how that goes and yeah i'll keep you guys posted as always and yeah seychelles is from the little i've seen this place is nice it's paradise trust me it's so beautiful over here so enjoy my seychelles vlog and let's go on this journey together thank you and i'll see you guys soon going to chill like in the hotel so we're just you know going to the the beach side just to relax and also like just explore the resort so yeah i'll take you guys along its own um beachfront so it's like a private beach area so once you lodge at the hotel you have access to this beautiful private beach and it's so huge and very beautiful with you know these nice um rock formations i really love it so yeah we're just going to chill along the beach um take some pictures videos get some drone shots and all of that here yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this like um tour place um tour packages place just beside the hotel they offer like scuba diving snorkeling and other activities so we just passed by to make some inquiries and yeah so those are the prices and all of that 
so now we're just going to um order some you know drinks cocktails lunch because we're hungry so yeah we're just going to order um at the hotel so they they actually have like four different restaurants at the hotel so yeah we're ordering at the hotel and we just you know chill relax enjoy the view it's so peaceful and calm over here so yeah We're supposed to go scuba diving today but the weather hasn't been good it, it rained this morning so um the people we booked the scuba diving with they actually sent a message to say because the weather is bad we can't do that today so we are going to do other stuff today and then see if we can do the scuba diving um on wednesday we went to have breakfast and i got surprised with flowers and when we go back to the room, like as we we're about to enter the room, this man was giving me the room key. Ever since we've been here, he's the one who's been opening the door. So as soon as he was giving me the room key, I figured he was up to something. So we got to the room and then there was like, you know, happy birthday on the bed and all of that. And it was so cool. So yeah, I just did my makeup, took a couple of pictures and videos for the gram. I just wanted to say happy birthday to such an icon you are great you deserve everything good under the sun and may god bless you with many many more kiss the boys for me anyway it's pretty 
and we're just about to get ready to leave the hotel so i'll keep you guys posted on you know what we would be up to today like i mentioned earlier on we are in mahe like mahe island we'll see if we can go to ladig which is another island tomorrow so yeah i'll keep you guys posted and happy birthday to me so it'll be distillery and then eden islands and maybe here Maybe Bola or Victoria. Victor yes. So we can do Victoria because she says everything closes by uh, four, four, right? So we can do Victoria, mm -hmm. then After come to Eden. You can go to Victoria, yes. Yeah, then we and continue then like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is very cool. Hey guys, so um, we're on our way to. Oh, we're about to leave for the. <clears throat> Takamaka Ram Distillery and we've rented the car so this is an electric car it's my first time being in an electric car so yeah we've rented the car for like a, a whole time here basically so we're just about to you know head off to explore um, Mahi Island really well and I would keep you guys posted even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter maybe you taste different hold up hold driving up, in these streets of seashells would humble you like their roads are so narrow and it has a lot of curves you look beside you and there's water you look beside you there's a valley like it's so scary trust me and if you're from a country where you drive like on the left side because they drive on the right side just as in the uk so it's very confusing and the roads are so narrow very very narrow I guess it never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest from time to time Inside all that greatness in all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different the takamaka ram distillery now um the next tour is at 3 p.m so we're just going to wait for the next tour and they have this cute you know cocktail stand where you can pass by to purchase cocktails so they use the takamaka to make cocktails for sale and so yeah we're just waiting for the next tour the tours are actually free but if like after the tour you want to do the ram tasting then you have to pay for the ram tasting so that one comes at a fee i think it's um 15 seashell rupees for the ram tasting so yeah distillery too so it's gonna be around 30 minutes of me explaining how we got started how we ended up here where we are distilling our rum where we are aging our rum back later on if you're really drunk you want to sober up have a walk see if you can manage this small walk before driving up okay but it was actually the dream out of two out of those three brothers of just wanting to drink rum for free underneath the sun and that's 
So Richard and Bernard Duffy, born in Seychelles, broke gum, raised and grew up in South Africa alongside their father, Robert, who was a huge rum lover. He would drink it like he was drinking water every hour. So you can imagine the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Those two brothers were the only two that actually started falling in love with it, but they were tired of just buying it. They wanted to distill their own batch and they wanted to drink it in a sunny place and where better place for it to do this than here in Seychelles. Forget about today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Using locally grown sugar cane and what we're calling the ingredient, the special ingredient, Seychelles water, they started distilling, creating a classic white rum at 43% alcohol. So they chose a local name, something common, something that everybody here in Seychelles knows, but something that's gonna be easy for anybody outside of Seychelles to pronounce. Taka Maka Bay Rum. How you hear it, you say it. If you're still getting difficulty on saying Taka Maka, after a couple of rum tasting, it will just roll off the tongue. Perfect. <laughs> So it's time for ram tasting and before we actually start the ram tasting, we have to drink water and after tasting every two rams, it's advised to take water as well. I really can't believe I'm about to taste six different types of rams. But yeah, it's my birthday and you only live once, so let's do this. <laughs> so yeah, given this band after you purchase, you know, the ram tasting, so it's like a ticket for ram tasting and yeah. Yep. So we're done with rum tasting and we're actually buying a couple of them because we, we enjoyed quite a number of them. So yeah. Guys, I am tipsy. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm so 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 tipsy. <laughs> yeah, so we had to taste six different types of rums and I'm tipsy, but yeah, we move. So we're off to Eden Island and I take you guys along as always. Why are you laughing? So you get drunk, you can't say that. In it, yeah. In it, in it, in it. I've been to Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Yeah. So from? I'm from Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Thank you. You should fly over there sometime. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I'm you a single should. guy trying to get married. So you should. It's best to go to Ghana. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Bye. 